Sparta between Carthage and Athens. And the opponent in this battle is Ava Pussy. We had a nice chat before the. <laughs> yep. We had a nice chat before the battle. And this battle, uh, this battlefield is slightly disadvantageous for my army because I'll be fighting uphill, as you can see here. And although my Balearics, in most cases, will be able to deal with Cretans, they will struggle when fighting, uh, when shooting uphill, because they will get a penalty to their missile damage, while the Cretans will get a bonus to their missile damage, and that, of course, goes for any charges from infantry and cavalry. It will be more effective when Pussy is charging downhill than when I am charging uphill at Pussy. <laughs> so, my Carthaginian army consists of two Carthaginian cavalry, war elephant general, six Libyan infantry, four Gallic warriors, two Iberian swords, three mercenary Balearic slingers, two late Libyan hoplites. Pussy has three mercenary Cretan archers, he has two or three thorax swords, then he has six thorax hoplites, his general is a thorax hoplite, he has pikes in the center, he has two citizen cavalry, one Hippeus, and he also has one militia hoplite or several. Looks like he has one militia hoplite on the flanks. Yeah. So militia hoplites are decent units for their price, but the uh, the late Libyan hoplites are a bit more cost effective, I find. Let's see here, 28, 20, 30 and 23, 26, 15, yeah, so, so the, uh, um, let's see, 80, 45, 48, 55, 50, so the late Libyan Hoplites are just better, better value for the money. Skirmishing starts, I'm being able to focus fire and take down the mercenary Cretan archers pretty quickly, uh, losing 10 Balearic Slingers, but... It's a cost-effective trade uh, currently because he's not focusing fire. I am focusing fire, but him being uphill is going to do quite a lot of damage to me, and uh, my da already low base damage is being penalized against Pussy here. So I'm just trying to stop these guys from reaching my uh, reaching my Cretans. It's not enough, so I'm going to counter charge with my own cavalry, pull my guys back, and that is of course going to get them shot in the back quite a lot, which is bad. So these Balearic Slingers are going to die. It's uh, a decent exchange for my opponent here. But this is making him run into Javelin range, and he's going to lose a lot of Citizen Cavalry from Javelin, so that was kind of the plan, to lure it in, and then go for send in the Libyan Hoplites. He still is firing on my. Uh, he's firing at the front of my Libyan infantry, which isn't going to be very effective. I'm going to fire into the back of his citizen cavalry, and it's nice being able to take out these two units because uh, it's going to to uh, to take away the opportunity to rear charge as easily as if he had the cavalry advantage all game. Citizen cavalry dying to combine the Libyan hoplite and citizen cavalry attack. It also means that he has to pull back his mercenary Cretans because his citizen cavalry is losing this combat. And I could have pulled the citizen cavalry away here, but I didn't want to run into the javelin range of the thorax swords. So, citizen cavalry is dead. And. Taking some, uh, still taking some fire from the uh, Crete Notchers, but they did survive that, so that was a very good exchange for me. Pushing the uh, mercenary Cretans back a bit, I want to push up my Balearics, and I'll probably lose my Balearics, but I want to take out as many Cretan Notchers as possible because of these babies here. I want to be able to stomp all over his units, and the main threat to these guys will be the mercenary Cretans, of course. So I'm going to be more patient with elephants than I've usually been. I have seen a lot of nice elephant use against myself, and um, and um, one of the mistakes I think I make a lot of the time when using elephants is that I'm just not patient enough. 
um, I don't move them too far. I don't move them far enough away from the from the uh, enemy units, from the uh, skirmishers. And uh, instead of waiting until everything is engaged and there are no threats, I have a tendency to want to send in my elephants first. And of course, that doesn't work very well at all. So I just managed to get the late Libyan Hoplites into the mercenary Crete marchers. These guys are being very useful at the moment, uh, doing damage and soaking up javelin fire. And I'm just going to send in these guys to try to do a bit more damage while I uh, while I try to shoot his mercenary Cretan some more. But the mercenary Cretan archers, there are just so many Cretan archers left. And I think two, two reasons why I lost this skirmishing fight so decisively. One was him trading his cavalry for my skirmishers by sending in his cavalry. Uh, the other thing was probably being uh, downhill from these Cretan archers. They're already 40 missile damage, it's going to be very devastating when coming downhill. Uh, these Balearics are not going to be able to compete when they're firing uphill. So I'm trying to crash through the Militia Hoplites, it kind of works. So I managed to get into the Crete Notches, but just... He actually knocked that guy down and killed him while he died himself. So pretty nice there. Um, those guys were just pushed back by one of their friends flying into that. So at this point, uh, it's time to start the melee engagement because I don't have any skirmishes left, only these these mercenary Iberian swords, but I'm going to save them for the pikemen in the center. Push up my Libyan infantry, keep my elephants well in reserve, and just keep marching towards my uh, opponent. Give these guys a few javelins so they don't manage to shoot at my elephants. They probably would have, wouldn't have been able to do much, but... <laughs> bit of a waste of javelins there. So I'm fairly confident that my infantry can take his infantry head on. I have the advantage. The problem is how he's going to be able to use these mercenary Cretans to counter my elephants. And also this Ipeus. If the Ipeus is able to cycle charge and rear charge, they could destroy my mercenary Iberian swords very quickly. They could disrupt charges, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to. So I'm going to send in my mercenary Gallic warriors to eat javelins and to, to soak up charges first. Also get in their very nice charge bonus of 20. Then I'm going to follow up with my uh, Libyan infantry. Um, this should stabilize the main engagement and enable me to win it. So I'm keep, keeping these guys in reserve around my elephants. So um, I try to dissuade any attacks in the rear. Thorax swords getting charged. Overall, this uh, engagement is looking pretty good. These pikemen are, of course, worrying, so I'm going to send up my mercenary Iberian swords to throw javelins at them. Keep my elephants out of range. Try to pull away the cavalry, uh, the Hippeus, with my own cavalry. I'm taking this engagement against the Thorax Hoplites. The li late Libyan Hoplites are going to lose, so I'm putting them in uh, Phalanx very, very quickly. And now it's time to take care of his pikes, because his pi I won in the center, but now his pikes are going to move in, so I'm going to pull away from the center. And when he's trying to plug the gap with his pikes, I'm just going to fire at them with my mercenary Iberian swords. I noticed that he is screening my elephants at all times, so I'm going to try to use the elephants to pull his archers away from the main engagement, while I try to pull away his cavalry with my Carthaginian cavalry. I'm just going to keep my elephants out of range for as long as possible until I have the units available to deal with his um, to deal with his archers. And the pikes are going down quite nicely to the fire from the mercenary Iberian swords. Also, some javelins coming in from the mercenary Gallics and the Libyan infantry. So the center is looking pretty good for me here. I'm also winning against the Thorax Swords, uh, against the Thorax Hoplites, I'm winning fairly decisively. But here my elephants are just in range of these uh, mercenary Cretan archers, so I have to have to run away with them. It's, it's going to tire them out a bit, but just a few arrows like this, not really enough to make them run amok. They would need a complete volley and I would need to, to connect with most of the shots in order to make the elephants run amok. And I am out of javelin, so I didn't manage to kill the pike unit, but I did manage to make it a lot less effective. This has freed up my mercenary Iberian swords to go for the mercenary Cretan archers. I'm going to send the mercenary Gallics into the Thorax Hoplites, just to stop them from rear charging me. And 
they're going to lose this engagement, but it's going to be very useful in stopping these guys from getting rear charges. So I'm just going to attack these guys in the flank with my mercenary Iberian swords. Um, this should be a better engagement. My mercenary Iberian swords over here are not going to take any fire because it's saving the fire for the elephants, which is a good idea. But it's also going to allow my mercenary Iberian swords to chase after his guys there. Uh, charging into his uh, Hippeus, I don't know if I got the charge or not. His Hippeus are kind of stuck here a bit, so they're going to lose man pulling out. These Militia Hoplites are holding for a long time, not really getting any kills. The rear charge here should finish them off nicely. And now I just need my Citizen Cavalry to hold the Hippeus, my Carthaginian Cavalry to hold the Hippeus while I'm moving around with my elephants, because these guys are, of course, slower than the elephants, so the elephants are going to be able to run away from them. And when I win here, I'll be able to peel off my Libyan infantry and chase after the mercenary Cretan archers. So these guys don't have the penalty for being attacked in the rear, because this unit didn't charge into their rear, so it's kind of weird that they can reorient their position like this and not get the penalty, because they are attacked in the rear, pretty much. And here we have my Libyan infantry massing up because I charged through the unit. Now these units are standing back to back and fighting because they are both in shield wall. So shield wall is pretty bugged at the moment. Uh, I didn't catch this so I should have given attack orders here instead. But it's a pretty... Um, it's a pretty devastating glitch when that happens. Mercenary Iberian swords getting into the mercenary Cretan archers. Same with the mercenary Gallic warriors. I am able to hold off the Hippeus Lancers with my Carthaginian Cavalry just in time for my African War Elephants to move in. He's going to disengage his skirmishers, I'm just going to chase after them. That's going to kill them quite effectively because the mercenary Iberian swords are very fast units. Taking care of the mercenary Cretans, I'm losing my first unit, unit of Gallic Warriors I believe. So these guys did fairly well. Then I'm going to charge into the uh, Hippeus with my elephants. Um, again, just a few arrows like this is not really enough to kill to kill or to make the elephants run amok. Might have something to do with the increased hit points on them. Nice uh, rear charge on the Thorax Oplites by my mercenary Galax. The Cretans are down and now it's just a matter of getting the elephants to run down the line and break all his units so it's very very frustrating when, it ha when this happens when you're not able to protect your skirmishers everything is engaged and you just you're just waiting for the elephants to basically start wrecking your entire line and I've had this happen to me a lot of times the battle looks decidedly in in your favor so in this case pussy was pretty confident he had the battle but not being able to deal the uh, deal with the elephants is just going to to enable this to happen, just breaking engagement after engagement. So I'll just fast forward here. This unit is getting rear charged. The elephants are, when they are within 40, they're going to get the penalty for uh, being around a the unit they're afraid of. Starts to happen, and that breaks the unit. So I'm going to be able to run down the line, rear charge his pikes. His general is doing well for himself, but not anymore. The elephants are going to absolutely smash these guys. And. When this fight is over, the battle is over. Because I wasn't able to I wasn't able to win decisively against the Thorax Hoplites pretty well. The mercenary Galax and mercenary Iberian swords can do very well when they are supported. And his uh, last unit of Thorax Hoplites is probably going to rout. Uh, the African War Elephants are just so amazing when they are available in the late game. So some people will say, well, only noobs will allow themselves to get wrecked by elephants. And while it is, mm, it's not easy to counter elephants uh, if you if you don't have the skirmishers to do it, and it can be hard to keep your skirmishers away from other units like you saw in this battle. And since elephants are faster than most skirmishers, it's going to be able to it's going to be easy to avoid the skirmishers for long enough so that the the uh, elephants are able to survive to the late game and in the meanwhile the skirmishers are not firing at other units because they are saving their ammunition for the elephants. So elephants are a very interesting unit in this patch I think. Now the Libyan infantry did fairly well. The I'm uh, A lot of the time I'm, I'm surprised at how well the mercenary Gallic warriors and mercenary Celtic warriors and the Celtic warriors can do. They can get a lot of kills on the charge. The Thorax Hoplites did okay, the Thorax Swords didn't manage to do as well, but they were outnumbered in the center there. So his um, 
skirmishers won against mine both because of the terrain and because he sacrificed two of these cavalry units to destroy my skirmishers which could have worked if he was able to take care of my elephants but since I was able to keep my elephants away it did not work but it was a good game it was a very fun game sort of cat and mouse or uh, skirmisher and elephant with the um, with the Cretan arches and the elephants there so pretty close uh, thanks for the game well played and I'll see you again on the battlefield.